You may not recognize the name on this bottle, and it's likely that you have never been in the town that I'm standing in. But then again, if you're an American who can't get enough of a craft brew with a hometown history, there's a good chance you know exactly what Shiner Beer is all about. 2009 marks Shiner's 100th anniversary, and over the past century, they've expanded from a locals-only operation to a nationwide enterprise. But unlike some brands with so much history, just about everything Shiner does is rooted firmly right here at home. So let's go find out how to get big while staying small. I grew up in Shiner, raised on Shiner beer. I came to the brewery and found a home here and I've been there ever since. My dad was in the hospital then. He wanted a beer. And, uh, and Dr. Wagner said, well, yes, you can have a beer in the morning and beer in the evening, but it's got to be Shiner. We have one light in town. But you go out of town and everybody knows about, you know, Shiner. Is that the same place they make the beer? Yep, that's the place they make the beer. A century after its founding, Shiner beer has become synonymous with the town itself. It's more than a favorite drink or a great place to work. For residents here, it's part of their way of life. A local dinner spot even puts it in their salad dressing. During the last 20 years, the company has grown from 1 to 41 states and recently Mexico, while keeping strictly devoted to two things, a quality product and its small town heritage. Am I breaking any rules if I take a sit no. before you have yours? I'll catch up. I was born and raised here in China. Used to come here, you know, five, six years old when I was a kid. Talk to me about some of the changes you've witnessed. We were producing 40,000 barrels a year. We're producing 400,000 barrels a year. How does that happen? It's a controlled growth we had. It really was. See, in, in some companies, you're growing so fast, you're subject yourself to growing pains where you can't produce a good quality product. You might take shortcuts. We don't do shortcuts here in China. So throughout all the growth, there was no compromise made on the product? Never. It's always all about the beer. This is not a beer factory, it's a brewery. One brew at a time, handmade. Shiner Beer is, in the truest sense, a local operation. It's the heart and soul of the brand, capturing not only the flavor of the ingredients, but also of their town. After being acquired in 1989, the new owner saw an opportunity to grow and drive sales in Texas and beyond. How do they do it? By branding what's been there all along. In the beginning, we brewed all we could, then we drank it, then we brewed some more. How we got from there to where we are today was Mr. Carlos Alvarez. He brought marketing to the company, which we had not had, but he still kept the personal touch to it. The brewery was on the verge of closing its doors in 1989 when it was acquired by Carlos Alvarez and his Gambrinas company, former importers of Corona. The Shiner brand represented a unique challenge, how to take a local flavor to the national stage. First thing, honestly, we raised the price. We were trying to compete at a price point that was not realistic for our, our little brewery. We fixed the quality of the beer, and by doing that, we slowly gained additional credibility uh, through the market. We're very fortunate to have uh, Austin as really our home base for the brand of Shiner. A lot of the college students would make the trip to Shiner on a weekend, and when they graduated, they were able to go out into their other markets, uh, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, and really draw that local love and flavor. So you don't get confused, this is the University of Texas right here. Exactly. At the fraternity house, what are the guys drinking? We're drinking China. Gotta be true to Texas. Why do you gotta be true to Texas? Born and raised here. It's where we used to be our own country. <laughs> exactly. How important is it to stay true to Shiner's hometown roots? Oh, it's absolutely the most important thing about the brand. People can relate to a guy working his 9-to-5 job in a little tiny town making millions of gallons of beer. We are really using our employees uh, to highlight what they do. And they mean a lot to us and they mean a lot to the brand. We would never want to alienate that. We want to embrace that. Everybody jokes, you know, around here that Shiner Beer can be in Canada, Washington, all these other cities and states. We're like, yep, yeah, that's our town. That's, you know, that's our beer. We take this place with us wherever we go. I take deep pride in working for Shiner and want to talk about it all the time, no matter who will listen. We can't all bank a hundred year legacy, but we can take a page from Shiner's book. No matter where you are now or how big you want to get, don't just say it. Be it. If you can create a product or service that perfectly suits your community, there's no telling where you can go from there. Shiner Beer, another cool running company. Stay tuned for more business innovation here on Business on May.